my name is Sara al Dabar and I'm the founder of Lace Events. Lace Events was founded in 2011. Um, it's a wedding and event planning company. We've, we're based in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, but we've taken projects around the Middle East. A few months after I started my Instagram account, it was getting more popular and my followers were just increasing rapidly. And I've noticed how people were very much engaged in things that I was posting, whether it was a bit personal or business and more into the weddings that I was doing and all the events that I was planning. And people, I guess, loved that because they got to know me as well as what I'm doing. I remember clearly that in the beginning of uh, about two years ago when I first had my account, um, a few months after that, when I had about two or just two or three thousand followers, um, I got a phone call from Kuwait, actually. A client called me from Kuwait and she had found me on Instagram. That's the time when I realized that this really works. I've then noticed that after every wedding or event that I do, followers seem to increase drastically. People start tagging each other when they see new pictures of the weddings, of the events. So tips for business owners in the Middle East wanting to use Instagram. Number one, I would say consistency. Post every day pictures, every day, even if it's not of your work, you can make it personal, you can join them. Instagram is not a website. It doesn't have to be just of what you're doing. It's things that you like, things you enjoy. Number two, post pretty pictures. People like to see pretty things, even if it's something of you know your work or what you did. People are visual. They like to see something that's pretty. Number three, try to be as engaged as you can. I know it's very difficult. I get a lot of comments, questions. So I either try to, instead of answer one by one, I try to make it a joint answer and say, you know, even when they're complimenting my work, I just, you know, say at the bottom, thank you all, it means a lot. Just so they see that I'm, you know, that I'm thankful and that I appreciate their comments. Tip number four, try to always have something that is special about your Instagram account. For example, I became known for on my Instagram is that I post daily happy thoughts because they're always, you know, either inspirations, nice quotes, things that would just make someone smile when looking at it. And I've noticed that, you know, people are waiting for them every day and they always comment and say, keep them coming, we love them. So now I just do it on a daily basis where I always share something that I believe in, a happy thought or just a really nice quote.